you. Th thank you, um, Ken. You know, we, we have to be honest about this issue. And uh, we, we need to look at it from a broader point of view. And allow me to, to elaborate this, because this is an area that I actually studied when I was doing my, one of my postgraduates uh, in, in South Africa about debt. Africa is a, is a continent for the future. By 2100, one out of every four uh, individuals in the world will be an African. By 2050, it will be two billion. But there is somebody who is already having our dinner through this debt. Because if you look at the, our debt register, which is very opaque, if you look at the things Ken, Kenya has borrowed to, to, to spend, to finance, I mean, you'll be surprised. They just from everything and anything, but without anything on the ground. And we have been insisting that the national debt register be made public. That's number one. There is also a structure called the Loans and Grants Council that is supposed to be giving you know, a, 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 a view of where we are on this issue. National Treasury has not been able to operationalize the Loans and Grants Council. But also, further to that, if you look at the portfolio under the Bretton Woods institutions, IMF and World Bank, there are condi conditionalities, but the problem with that is that the commercial loans are coming from Eurobond, but most of the China, China banks. The reason why they are more popular is because people get kickbacks. They mm -hmm. find us fees in mm -hmm. terms of projects. So these ones from the Americans and the British, because they have this uh, democracy and governance and whatever, they are not popular. And actually, we, have, uh, we are classified as LDC in some loans uh, under international Devel De development assistance and also L LMNC because now we are now a lower middle income economy. So mm -hmm. LDC is at least developed countries, you see? So those ones, you, you have some kind of concessions, you know, around how to do it. And remember, in the 1990s, the Paris Club, we had to go and retire odious debt because Africa was paying much more than what was received, you see? So we actually mortgaged. What am I trying to say? If you have money that is not giving, uh, you know, profit, is what Ronald Reagan called development corruption. Because when you have development, whose aim is not to help Wanjiko, is to benefit big business and local content uh, shareholders. You know, those people who, like Mobitelea and others, who are shadowy, who are the ones who are put in between there. Look at, look at even the contract of the SDR around the, 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 the servicing. I mean, the, the, the company that is running the SDR itself, not, not Kenya Railways, where they are spending, you know, 30 million, you know, a day, you cannot even sustain. What am I trying to say, uh, as, you, as you think? President Kibaki had something called the National Economic Council that was able to look at the whole aspect of the economy. It does not exist. Today, if you look at the current government, and I am part of it, you can't quite tell where is the center. Who is thinking economically? Is it about uh, myself and Dr. Nikal deciding now we can fish some uh, contract from uh, an American bank or some uh, Chinese bank as long as they're able to finance this is our cut? And then Kenyans can pay th that kind of loan. Yes. So there is no centrality in short. But ideally, any country, if you look at, uh, at it uh, clearly, if you go to New York, you'll see they have put a very big board where every New Yorker will see what is a national debt. In fact, it's called the national debt. Numbers keep on running. How much money has America been able to uh, borrow from China and other places? But ideally, a country should only be able to have 18 to 35 percent. Of its, of its money is going to debt. Okay. In Kenya, if we are to go by the 9 trillion shillings, mm -hmm. we are going to pass the 72 million mark. I know sometimes when they come before us in the, in the National Assembly and the Senate, they tell us, oh, countries like uh, Japan, Japan have over 200 million, 200% mm -hmm. uh, borrowing. Yes. But what is our liquidi liquidity can, compared you know? to that? Compared yeah. to us, what yeah. is our production? Mm -hmm. We are what? a consumer economy. And you yeah. know? What currency do we borrow? Yeah, what currency? You see, even our currency it keeps on being devalued. Right now, you can't really quite tell what uh, the CBK is having, whether it's a real value for our money, or is it just being managed so that then we do not have issues of export import, you know? So, our productivity also, you know, our, the, the whole issue of devolution, which I think is a revolution. When you have people on the ground, even not being paid for long, you know, because uh, money is not being uh, generated at the center, or even when you have a government that has, got, uh, has been able to interpret national interest to mean their own priorities, when you have a situation where the manufacturers are now not even being able to be taxed because they have been run out of town, instead of being told, can we now rearrange our, 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 the way you are supposed to pay taxes? In short, what, what I'm trying to say is this. For me, and I want to say on national television, I will oppose. Okay. I will oppose this okay. because this, it is this, not for the interest of the this, country. This spirit that has caught Isaac Mora this morning, <laughs> yeah. can it spread across? <laughs> can it just spread across <laughs> parliament today? <laughs>